the splendor of Mamalapuram, Chennai, India. Presented by Holidays on Shoestrings. Mamalapuram or Mahapalipuram in Tamil Nadu is a temple of art created by the Pallava rulers. It is a virtual treasure trove of sculpture and architecture and is a shining example of Dravidian culture and the ancient civilization of the Tamils. Hardly half a kilometer away from the wonderful and breathtaking show temple lies Arjuna's penance or descent of the Ganga monument, a huge rock canvas which can be called the splendor of Mamalapuram. The sculptures have been interpreted in two different ways when they found their place in the local folklore. One is an extract from the Mahabharata about Arjuna performing severe austerities by way of penance to obtain Shiva's weapon after the war at Kurukshetra. And the other story narrates the penance of Bhagirathi who performed austerities in order to bring goddess Ganga down to earth. Unlike the Catholic ritual of penance, it is performed to gain power, not to expiate sin. See for yourself how both fit in because the representation of the Megalith relief supports either legend. Let us begin from the center, which has a natural fissure, which is now closed. At the bottom are two figures, Nagaraja, the serpent king, with seven hoods and a human body. Below is his consort. In Hindu mythology, they are the rulers of the netherworld. By this, the sculptor suggests that the fissure is a river. In fact, during rainy days, water will gush through the fissure to give a real sense of a river. To the right of this fissure, that is to your left, at a height, is a gigantic figure holding a trident over his shoulder. That is Shiva without any doubt. His right hand is in the traditional boon-giving posture. To whom? Just look next to him. It is a human standing on one leg. His body is emaciated. The skin just covers the skeleton and the ribs are visible. The sculptor informs us that he is in the in act of intense penance. Who is he? Is he Arjuna or Bhagiratha or someone else? It is left to you. Maybe the sculptor wants us to just enjoy the ensemble of sculptures rather than try to figure out what they mean. So shall we just enjoy a few of these beautiful pieces? Starting from the far left of us on the extreme top left corner is a Yali, a mythical animal. Next to it, a lion is crouching, followed by a male and female dwarfs, the mythical Kimpushas. Then the large figures of two pairs of mythical Gandhavas, persons with power to move around the atmosphere. They always appear in pairs. Look at the position of their legs, gently bent at the knees to suggest they are gliding through space. Up above is a saint playing on a musical instrument. The figures below his are a pair of mythical kinaras, figures with a human body and bird's legs. Just above Siva is Chandra, the moon god, shown with a halo. Next is a row of Kandavas and kinaras, and below them a scene from a forest, a roaring lion followed by a row of hunters in different poses, one leaning on a long bow, another carrying a hunt, yet another carrying a pot on his shoulder, and one more delicately balances the swing of heavy forest products. Lower down, you can spot a series of animals, a lion watching a strolling deer, a boar looking up at the hunter, Below the hunter is a lioness feeding her cub, then a tortoise and a rollicking deer. Still further down from Shiva is a Vishnu temple located on the banks of the river with a lot of humans around. 
The other side is even more interesting. Since we are very familiar with the celestial travelers like Gandhavas and Kinnavas, let us train our observation to the signature figure of Mamalapuram, the herd of elephants. There are no words to explain. Everything is perfect, the anatomy, the mood, the attitude of the calves and the elders. We could just stand and stare. After all this, there is one sculpture that needs special mention and is a favorite with guides. It is the sculpture of a pair of deer which is at the bottom of this monument. Prime Minister Indira Gandhi so loved it that it found a place in the old 10 rupees Indian currency note. This magnificent relief carved in the mid 7th century measures approximately 30 meters long by 15 meters high. Its huge size and scale is difficult to imagine just from photographs. A person standing on the ground in front of it could barely touch the elephant's feet, making it a totally awesome experience. A little further away, near the lighthouse, lies another interesting rock, or rather, two rocks close together, very similar to Arjuna's penance, with carvings very similar to it. Archaeologists feel that maybe the sculptor used it for a test run before starting Arjuna's penance. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and tell your friends about it.